Hi guys, welcome to this new tutorial about retro games on Raspberry Pi 4. As you know from the previous videos, we can use different software for playing our retro games like RetroPie, Batocera, Recalbox, and Laka. In the previous tutorials, we learned how to install RetroPie and Batocera. Now it's time to explore Recalbox. In this case, we don't need to download the Recalbox image before flashing the SD card. Raspberry Pi Imager, it's all that we need. If you don't have Raspberry Pi Imager already installed, go to raspberrypi.com slash software, download the right version for your OS and install it. Let's insert the SD card in our PC and let's run Raspberry Pi Imager. From the operating system item, let's select Emulation and Games OS and let's click on Recal Box. Now from the storage item, let's select the SD card inserted in our PC and let's click on Write. The process will take some time, so we're gonna wait patiently. At the end of the writing process, we can remove the SD card. Now we're going to insert the SD card in our Raspberry Pi. We're going to connect the game controller and a keyboard, and we're going to switch on the Pi. The keyboard can be useful, just in case Recalbox wouldn't automatically recognize our game controller. My game controller has been automatically recognized and configured by the system. If your controller doesn't work, press the bar on your keyboard, select controller settings and configure a controller. It's time to add some games and the required missing BIOS. You can verify that by clicking on BIOS checking. Like some games, lots of BIOS cannot be distributed with Recalbox because they are copyrighted. So you need to download them by yourself. Remember that could be illegal in some countries. After finding ROM games and the right BIOS for our Recalbox version, we can copy them in the right folders, connecting our PC to our Raspberry Pi through our Wi-Fi network. How does it work? From our main menu, we're going to select Network Setting, and we're going to press on Enable Wi-Fi. Then we're going to select our Wi-Fi network from Network Name, and we're going to type our Wi-Fi password. Let's press on back and our Pi will be online. Let's take note of our IP address. It will be useful for the next step. Let's open up a file explorer and from the very top we're going to type in backslash backslash and our Pi 4 IP address. Let's press enter and as long as our PC and the Pi 4 are on the same network, we will see a folder called share. Now we are connected to our Pi and if we press enter, we can see our BIOS folder and our ROMs folder as well. Let's copy the ROMs in the right emulators folders and let's copy our new BIOS to the BIOS folder. At the end of the process, the system needs to be updated, so from UI settings, let's click on Update Game Lists. Let's check our BIOS. Clicking on BIOS Checking, we should read the message, Congrats! All emulators should work properly. Now we can customize our UI using the scraping method. How does it work? Selecting Scraper from the main menu, we can automatically download from the website Screen Scrapered covers of our games plus videos and more information. Remember that before scraping, you need to create a free account on the website ScreenScraper.fr and insert on Recalbox your login credential. Our UI is much better now, but we can also improve it, uploading some new themes. From the main menu, let's navigate to UI setting and clicking on theme, we can see some available themes. We need to find nicer ones to add to our collection. Lots of designers create their themes and share the links on GitHub or on another repositories. So we need to install them manually. We are going to install two beautiful themes called Artflix and Unified Spin. You can find the links in the description. Let's download them, and after the unzip process, let's copy our new themes in the themes folder of our Pi 4. As shown before, let's select our Artflix theme. Recalbox will reboot, and here is the new user interface. Let's see the Unified Spin theme as well.
One last feature before saying goodbye, it's the Recalbox Web Manager. It allows to access Recalbox via smartphone, tablet, or PC. Let's access the interface typing the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. To find out your IP address, select Network Settings from the main menu. Now that we are on the web interface, we can monitor our system. We can also manage audio, controllers. We can set the system. Here we can configure language and network options. Here we have the ROM management, the screenshot management, and the logs. The last item, it's the recal box config. Okay, now we can start playing. I hope this tutorial would be useful. If yes, please subscribe the channel for more tutorials. See you!